Hi guys, welcome back to Girl Tries Games. We're playing Mass Effect, the first of the trilogy. So in this Let's Try, I'm not going to do many recaps of the previous video just because so much can possibly happen in one video that it will just take way too long to do a recap. So um, yeah, here's a link to the previous video if you want to catch up. And right now we're in the Normandy Hospital um, or the medical wing or whatever you want to call it Glad and we okay. have to go talk to our pilot Joker but let's talk to the rest of our crew first Commander I'm glad to see you're okay losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and I'm glad we didn't lose you too let's ask him how he is things were pretty rough down there yeah you never get used to seeing dead civilians doesn't seem right somehow but at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony you helped. I'm gonna be nice to Caden. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. He will be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Sounds like he knows what he's talking about. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're unrestricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Uh, sorta. I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, Torfin. Uh, messy business. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? No, Caden. Captain's briefing was confidential. Understood, ma'am. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Alright. Now let's go talk to the doctor. Yes, Commander? Is there something Oops. you need? I should go. Goodbye, Long Commander. Click. I wanted to ask yes, her a question. Is there something you need? Let's ask her about herself. What do you know or, about Captain Anderson? Okay. I've served with him I for a few tours now. I can't aim my clicks right now. He knows now. when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Okay, now let's ask her personal question. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. To secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Any regrets? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Okay, now let's ask her about Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches, it's not easy being an L2. And what is that? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Okay, well, I think we asked her everything. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I see Miss Ashley over here, and I've decided I'm going to be mean to her. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. Why are you here? You're not assigned to the <laughs> ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. 
All right, cat fight. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> All right, so we've already got on her bad side. Let's go talk to Joker, our pilot. We need to tell him to bring us in to dock at the Citadel, the beautiful Citadel. Okay, here's some Codex stuff. Again, I'm not going to show the Codex during gameplay. I'm going to make a separate video, and you can click the link below. Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. That's what I love about this game. Everything feels so epic and awesome. Uh, long loading screen. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony! The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Hmm. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, it's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Me too. <laughs> so, they don't seem to really be wanting to help us yet, but we have to go talk to them. Okay, here's a computer console we can hack into. Okay, Alliance Patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Road Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recall recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? 
All right, so if we look, it looks like that might be added to our journal, which is where the missions are our main uh, storyline. So here's the prologue we finished earlier in the last video. Um, and now our mission is to go to the, ta the Citadel Tower to expose Saren. But we also have these assignments, which are side quests. And this strange readings that we just read about got added, there, added to our uh, side quest so we could go check it out. We can also level up. So we have three points. Again, I really want to unlock shotguns, so I'm going to up my pistols as much as I can to get to this point to unlock shotguns. I also want more intimidate skill, more... hmm... Let's do a vanguard one. Okay. Caden, he has two points. Let's do electronics. And... Sentinel. And Ashley will give her... She has two also. We'll give her shield boost. And adrenaline burst. And there you can read what they actually are. We want to unlock um, heavy armor for Ashley, for sure. Okay. And again, the codex. Separate video. Alright, so let's explore the area. Where are we? Okay, so these guys are talking about something. Let's see. Let's talk to them. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaelin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Let's ask about his speech. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Let's ask about his people, the Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Okay, let's ask about the history. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Alright, and the culture? Oops. Tell me more about your species. Damn it. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling Again, the history of Again, I am having trouble people. clicking on things It is for some reason. to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Okay. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, dear. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Okay. 
So I think we asked him everything. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Let's talk to this cranky little dude. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Okay, let's ask about his embassy. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. Okay, let's ask about the Volus. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. History. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, Despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Alright, let's ask about the culture. Tell me about Volus' culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Okay. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Okay. Goodbye, Ambassador. So we learned yes, a little bit yes. about two Good different... Day, Earth Clan. Um, two different species here on the Citadel who aren't a part of the Council. There's another Elcor we can talk to. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. What's wrong? You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What is the consort? Who's this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatyura, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? 
she is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Okay. So we learned a little bit about the Elcor and the Volus, two different species. Here's something else we cannot interact with yet. Okay, so we are in the embassies of the Citadel. That's where we just came out of, the human embassy. So let's go down here. Here we are at the beautiful Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh, look how beautiful it is. The beautiful Presidium. Everything's so epic. Okay, let's go back. Here's a receptionist we can talk to. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. How'd she know I was a commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Let's go about herself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Right, I should we'll be leave going her alone now. then. Have a pleasant day. Okay, so there's some other rooms up there that we'll check out later. Here's that Avena she was talking about, but we don't need it. Okay. We need to get to the Citadel Tower to talk to the Council. So I'm gonna head this way because the signs say Citadel Tower is this way. Dude, don't bump us. Come on. <laughs> so here we see a bunch of different species that we hadn't seen before, like the little blue women, that guy who just bumped into us. Here's a Turian, like Nihilus. And then we met the Volus and the Elcor. a Solarian and a Turian. So there's a few species here on the Citadel. In the Presidium. Okay, I'm continuing on. There's some other areas we can explore. The wards. But we still want to go to the Citadel Tower. So let's head over there first. We'll come back and explore more after we talk to the Council. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Here's one of those green guys again. Okay, so we're not allowed to disturb them. Alright, here's the Citadel Tower. Let's take the elevator up the tower. Now this game is notorious for having really long elevator rides. They take up sometimes, sometimes with conversation or news reports, but Otherwise, it's pretty long. And they... The council isn't going to ask yeah, any questions. Yeah, see, here's the conversation. I got it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. See, so it's just really quick conversations. Doesn't really take up much of the elevator ride. But they make fun of themselves in later games, so I forgive them. <laughs> And the elevator music is awesome. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Alright, here we have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Executor Palin. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the C-Sec investigation into Saren. 
Who was that guy? Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Um... Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a Spectre. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Okay, so this guy, Garrus, who's awesome, by the way, um, he was in charge of doing some investigations on Saren, and he didn't get much information, so he wants us to bring Saren down. And his boss seemed pissed and not helpful. So we're in this beautiful area with orange lit trees. The bonus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bulls will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the bolus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanna need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. <laughs> so, those guys are talking about the Volus and how they're probably not going to be um, invited to the council. Just like the little ambassador was saying angrily. Here's Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. We're late. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? See, he hates us. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Well, that didn't go so well for us, did it? It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. 
things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. So now what do we do? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Um... He could be useful. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Okay. So... Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Okay, so we gotta go to Cora's Den and talk to Harkin about where we can find Garrus, who's that Turian we just met who was wearing the blue, um, who didn't like Saren and was um, leading an investigation into him. So we want to see if he has any proof we can use. Let's ask about any other leads. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Balavan's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Okay, let's ask him about his history to tell us a little more about it. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Hmm. So would I, because I'm ruthless. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Okay, let's ask him about... Okay, we have a lot of things we can ask him about. Let's ask him about the Shadow Broker first. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player <clears> on the <throat> field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Okay. How about Barlavon, the guy who works for the Shadow Broker? Oops. What did I press? Oh. Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Alright, let's ask him about the Council and the Ambassador. Our Ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Why do we even bother? Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the council, 
We just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. Okay, he has a point. <laughs> uh, let's ask about Harkin, who's the guy we're supposed to meet to talk to about Gareth. Don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. They abandoned him. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Okay, let's ask about Spectres. Want to know more about the Spectres? They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something Creepy. in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. How are they organized? What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What if one goes too far? I should go. Good luck, oh, Shepard. Oh, no. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. My mouse keeps skipping. I hope it doesn't affect my fighting skills. Okay, well, we'll ask him about it later, I'm sure. Okay, so we're off in the corner. That's where we met with the council. And we're over here in the corner. Hmm. Okay, Ashley has something to say. I don't know why she won't just say it. She waits for me to ask her. I bet all <laughs> the staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> that guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why lie? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. <clears throat> I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Let's help him. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Got it. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay, so we're gonna scan some keepers. Okay, so the keepers, if you'll remember, are these little green guys. So let's scan our first one. Okay. So there's one. And I know there's another one up here that's kind of hidden in the corner, so let's go get that one. Before we forget. Okay, got him.
and that ground makes some weird hollow metal aluminum type noises. Here's Rear Admiral no, I'm Kahoku. waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander. And there's another keeper. It's okay, so we got three so far. No. I just want to ask a couple of questions. So anytime we see a keeper, we gotta scan him. Okay. I don't think we need to take the long elevator because we have our rapid transit, which is pretty much just um like fast travel. So let's go back to the embassies where we started. Alright, so here we are back at the embassies. Now, we already explored up there. Let's go over here to the area of the embassies we haven't explored yet. See what's over here. Okay, here's a room. Looks like some kind of computer lab or something. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. More codex stuff. Codex stuff. Here's a keeper. Oh, we should probably go back to the area in the embassies that we didn't um, scan the keepers yet. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Okay, so there was just some codex stuff and a keeper in there. Let's see what's in here. Here's Executor Palin, the guy who was talking to Garrus. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I go where I want. <laughs> Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right <laughs> expression? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? Um, let's ask him about his attitude attitude towards humans. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No. Just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. We're not favorite. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Uh, let's ask him about specters. What do you know about the specters? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. You don't like them? What do you have against the specters? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. Spectres are important, dude. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. Ruthless, remember guys? But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. Let's ask him about CSEC. Oops. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Let's ask about that investigation he was talking to Garrus about. We probably should have asked about that first. But, whatever. 
Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Then can you tell me what you know about Garrus? Garrus Vicarian? Good officer. Very good, in fact. But he needs to learn some patience. You'd think an officer of the law would be a bit more mindful of rules and regulations. Was there anything else? I guess that's it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Alright, we leveled up, we got some XP and more codex info. There's another computer we can hack into. Hopefully my mouse won't jump like it's been doing. Alright, diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Ada Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay, so they found a message about some biotics who are getting together. Anything over here? Alright, I think we looked through this whole office. Thanks, Executor Palin, for letting us explore your office. Alright, now where are we? This place seems strange. There's a little more humans around. Looks like we're at a bar of some sort. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? He was talking about the consort. What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Everyone's talking about her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. <laughs> Ash Have fun, is that such is. such a bitch. <laughs> There's a bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Hell yeah. What have you got? Information, mostly. Oh. Would you like to know about some points <laughs> of interest nearby? Um, no. We've already been told, and we can ask Avina, so it's okay. Goodbye. <laughs> so long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Shepard doesn't even say no thanks or anything. She's just like, bye. Here's another keeper to scan. Okay, my mouse is freaking out. Hold on, time to try to fix it. Okay, hopefully that'll help. Alright, so we've explored this area of the embassies. Let's go back to the other area so we can scan some keepers. My dog is hearing something outside, so I'm sorry if she barks. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay, we gotta find these keepers that we saw. There was one in Udina's office, I believe. And one in the... Was there one in here? I don't remember. Oh, maybe not. No, yeah, it was in the Volus and Alcor Embassy. Here's Captain Anderson. Maybe we can ask him those questions yes, we Commander, were going to. Yes, is there something to. you need? We were going to earlier about specters. I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Okay, we were gonna ask, what if one goes too far? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Is it legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. 
The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under 100. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. All right, so we asked him everything about go. Spectres. I'll be here if you need anything. I think we know more than enough about Spectres now. We've asked everybody about them. Okay, let's go get that, let's go scan that one keeper over here. Okay, got him. We already talked to those guys. So let's go explore more of the Citadel here. More of the, um, Presidium. Okay, I think we'll continue going towards the right. way we can go check out the wards that we passed by earlier and the wards are the main part of the citadel I guess you could say like the biggest part the little um, branches or whatever you want to call them the there's like five little you saw it when we flew up to the citadel it was like a circle and then there was five little things coming out of it, like petals, kind of. Yeah, the five petals are the wards. So let's go check out the wards. Take some more long elevator rides. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Hmm. Interesting. Here's my team. We're badass. Here you can look at the butts. Check out those butts. <laughs> Alright. Here we are in the ward's access hall. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay, so they're talking about somebody named Fist. What's in here? Here's a keeper for us to scan. Okay, here's another elevator ride to the wards with awesome music. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. <laughs> All right, have we arrived? Yes, we have. Okay, so we could go either to the right or forward. Let's go this way. He's a keeper. He's being scanned. <clears throat> We're in this little alleyway here. Long loading. Jeez, what happened? Are, 
Okay, so we're here at Cora's den. Let's go talk to Harkin. Oh no, we have someone attacking us. All right, I'm gonna warp him. There's another guy. Let's see if I could throw him. Okay, that other guy's already here. He's getting up close to us. Whoa, he has like a big bazooka or something. Oh no! We're dying, so I need to first aid. Alright. Those were Saren's men. That's it. Bag him and tag him. Alright, so we got some assassins on our tail. That is not fun. Caden has something to say. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the uh view. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's some Krogan over here. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Hmm. Out of my way, humans. I have no problem. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alright, so that's a new species we haven't seen yet. The Krogan. The Krogan Bouncer. Let's see what they were talking about. Fist. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. Okay, so everyone's Enjoy talking about this fist guy who apparently is the owner of this club. Here's Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. How about not, Skiza? I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Don't call me Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard's still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Okay, I'm curious, but I don't want to talk to this guy. Just tell me where Garrus went. He's probably Garrus was lying. sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. All right. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it, please. So Garrus is sniffing around Dr. Michelle. <laughs> Sounds kind of romantic. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. I got business here, but not with you. Everyone is so friendly. Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Friendly, friendly. Oh, and here we can watch a stripper. So here, for all my viewers who enjoy watching an Asari dance practically naked, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> there you go, guys. And or girls. All right. 
Let's get out of here. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about him. Me too. Alright, let's go this way. So here we are at some markets. Now, I, in this game, usually don't ever buy anything. Just because you find so much through looting. I feel like you don't really need to buy anything, so I don't. But who knows, I might in this playthrough. I'm gonna quick save here. Who is this? Conrad oh, Werner. It's you. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I guess. Here you go. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Alright, so we have a fan. Okay, here's some more market. And here's a keeper to scan. I don't think you bought this thing. I don't sell this product. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. I can't. Poor guy. What, what are you can help you. So he just wants a refund. Okay, let's see what's in here. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Sure. What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Uh, let's ask her, why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I read about the Siege of Torfin, sending your men to their deaths, shooting slavers as they tried to surrender. I need someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who'll do what needs to be done. That's you. Okay. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Alright, so we're collecting these small side quests. They are not a part of the main quest, but they, um... There are side quests we can do. Scenic view. Fake place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? <laughs> no wonder they need us. How can they keep tabs on all of this? The Presidium may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they ward keep arms. all that mass from flying apart? That's what they're called. Um, melting pot. The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. What's not to like? Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. 
According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Well. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? It's okay. All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenko, but we're on duty here. Uh, I don't know. Awkward. I'll walk drag, ma'am. <laughs> so I guess... Caden seems to kind of like me. Alright, it said the med clinic was this way. And that's where Garrus was sniffing around. According to Harkin. So let's go check it out. Med clinic. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Uh-oh. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Finally, some action! Alright, let's throw him. He's up on the wall, he fell down. Warp him. Okay, and let's get right up in this guy's face. And they're dead. Good job, team. Hi, Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Good shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Who were they? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. Feast They again. wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot. But she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. Ooh. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. All right. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. So that's the guy we saw. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. We could use him. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, so... We acquired a new partner, Mr. Garrus Vicarian. He wants to help us take Saren down because he is also doing an investigation of his own. He also said there's a Quarian who has information on him, on, um... Saren, who probably has evidence um, incriminating Saren, and then there's also Rex, the Krogan we saw earlier at the bar who was looking for Fist. So now I could pick more a new teammate. So I'm gonna use Caden and Garrus because they're pretty evenly matched. Okay, let's talk to Dr. Michelle. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let's ask her about herself. Your doctor? How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. 
I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Okay, I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Let's get some Medigel. Oh, we don't have any room for any more. Okay, so, now what we can do is either go straight to Fist and see where the Quarian is, or we can go and see if we can recruit Rex. There's a keeper. I think we should go and recruit Rex. Actually no, let's go let's go back to Fist. Okay, so we're going back. This is where we came out of the elevator. So we're going to go back to Cora's den and see if we can talk to Fist and find out where this Quarian is. The Quarian who has the evidence that we really need in order to expose Saren to the council and get them on our side. Alright, so here we are back at Cora's den. We don't have any assassins waiting for us outside, so that's a good sign. Looks like it shut down. But look at our map. We could see a bunch of enemies in here. So he's waiting for us. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can level up here first before we start our fight. Yes, we can. We have lots of points to spend. So, I definitely want to unlock my shotguns because I love shotguns. And I'm going to want to intimidate a little more. And maybe some assault training. And a vanguard point. Okay, Caden has four points. Let's give him all this. Okay, and then Garrus has 10, so let's give him some assault rifle skill, some armor skill, Turian agent, first aid, decryption, okay, there we go. So now I finally have shotguns, so I'm going to equip myself with a better shotgun. Let's see. So, the downsides aren't that big of a difference, and the damage is. So I'm going to take one of these. I'm going to equip the one with the highest damage here. And give myself some weapon mods. Let's do... Phasic rounds. Okay. Do we have any armor to change to? No, but do we have any armor mods? No. Okay. We don't use sniper rifles, we're gonna use shotguns. Garrus uses assault rifles. Okay, we have a good one here for him to equip. And let's give him some chemical rounds. Caden uses pistols. He can use the stinger too. And we'll give him that. Okay, GTG Shepard, we are ready. Let's go fight. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right on in with my shotgun. And hopefully not die. Kogan, 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 Kogan. I'm on it! Oh, there's some guy up there. Okay. Garrus is already dead. I'm running back out to take cover before I die here. 
because my teammates are dead and I'm about to die and I need to wait till my first aid is able to be used again because I don't want to die here I'm trying to find fist all right heal time Okay, let's go kill these fools. Oh, no wonder I'm not even using my shotgun. I will destroy you. I could do way more damage with my shotgun. Hold the line. Ah. Hold the line. Let's warp him. Oh, that didn't kill him. Locked and loaded. I will destroy you. Locked and loaded. I'm on it. There we go. Okay. That We already almost died and this is only the beginning of the game. This just shows you how awesome I am at fighting games. Okay, so I'm going to wait till we heal a little bit or there we go. I can use first aid. Oh. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. They are unfriendly. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. We can knock his thing down that he's hiding under. Boom. Dead. There's a attack. weapons locker. Let's see what we can get inside here. Oh no, no, no! Okay, more shotguns and a sniper rifle. Okay, let's see if any of those are better than the one I have. Okay, we leveled up so we can. Sorry about my dog. We leveled up so I can get more. Um, points. Okay, this is the same. That one has more damage, a lot more damage. Okay, let's equip that one. Okay, and Kaden uses a pistol, and we got a pistol. Let's see. Nope, it's not better than the one he already has. So let's level up again. Get some more shotgun skill. Some more intimidate. Yeah. And let's see, what should we do with Caden and Garrus? Alright. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to give him assault rifles and that one. Okay. Let's check our journal. We need to expose Saren, so we're t that's what we're doing right now. We're taking down Fist. We also need to find the Krogan Rex. And then we got a bunch of side quests that we'll look at later. Okay, let's go continue on and see if we can find Fist. Oh, there he is. Warp him. Oh, he has turrets here. Turns out first because they Wait, suck. don't oh. kill me, I surrender. Start talking first. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Um nobody lies to me. You first. got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. 
Where is this meeting? Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Okay. So there's some information that the journalist was looking for. Here's a wall safe. Oops. Let's see if we could get in before our time runs out. Okay, we got a weapon, some weapon upgrades. And I'm taking them. Alright, we got four minutes. If my teammates would get the hell out of the way. Okay, I gotta tell them to go somewhere. Never been a real there we go. Okay, so we have... Now we have 3.36 minutes to get to the quarry in. And we have some bad guys up ahead, as we can see on our compass down below. Hopefully we won't die this time. I will destroy you! Knock that guy off his feet! the only one left? Alright. Hold the line! Hello. Or not. <laughs> Throw your ass. Boom. Okay, we gotta run. We got three minutes. Three minutes to get to the quarry and in the back alley. Go, Shepard, go! Save the quarry in. So this is that alley we walked through earlier. Hopefully she's here. Alright, there they are. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Okay, we gotta save her. Whoa! We just got grenaded, I think. Gun overheated, so I can't shoot. But I can use biotics. Or not. Okay. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. we will want to see this anyway. Alright, so we got the quarry in with the evidence. We saved her. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The quarry in? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up. This quarry in can help <laughs> us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. What is that? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What? Like what? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. 
Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Okay, what about Saren? What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Um, let's ask if that's true. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What is a conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Hmm. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are, are they, they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. Um... Well... Maybe that's what we saw in our vision. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Let's not tell them. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. <laughs> you saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. All right. I'll take all the help I can get. We got a Quarian. Thanks. You won't regret this. We're collecting friends. Anderson and I <laughs> will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right, so now we have two more friends to choose from. So let's do Garrus and Tally, our new, our new members, and see what they're like. Okay, we should also level her up before we forget. And we can level up. I want to level up my first aid because I've been using it a lot. And I'll do Vanguard. Garrus has two points to use. I'm going to do. Um, let's see. How do we unlock electronics? Maybe it will just unlock later. Okay, we'll give him assault rifles and... Decryption. Because he's a... He's a Turian agent, so he has tech skill and... Like, gun skill. <laughs> okay, Tally, we have 14 points to spend on her. Um, she's really super techy, so I'm gonna really up the tech on her. 
but also get a good amount of other things here. Um, there we go. Check her out. Okay. We got some new equipment too. Some upgrades. Let's take them all. And see what we could do with them. So do I have any better shotguns here? Nope. They're about the same. Okay. Let's see what kind of weapon upgrade I could do. Heat absorption, I like. Um, and I'm gonna use the hammerhead rounds instead. Also, no armor. Okay, Garrus uses assault rifles. Let's give him a high caliber barrel. And he's good with that. And Tully uses pistols. So let's see, let's give her this pistol because it does a lot more damage. And let's give her a heat sink as well. And we could give her these phasic rounds. All right, there we go, guys. So here we have our journal. We now need to go return to the Citadel Tower to show the council what we found with the quarry and tally. And we also still need to go collect Rex. So let's go get Rex and see if he, what he can contribute to our team. So he's at CSEC Academy. Let's head on over there. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Okay. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Well, we'll go find we'll out. We'll look into it. Man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Well, he's at the bar up there, but we'll do that later. We want to go get Rex right now. So we'll come back and get his wife's body back for him. Okay, so CSEC Academy is down here. through this elevator. Another long elevator ride. So let's go. With our new friends, the Quarian and the Tyrian. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> so our new buddies are poking some fun at each other. <laughs> Alright, here we are arriving at CSEC, which is the police station, basically, of the Citadel, where Garrus used to work, but not anymore. Here's Rex, waiting for us. You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? Yes. That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. You're welcome. Sounds like I did your job for you. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. Whoa, dude. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Uh, what's the catch? Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like nice. the way you handle Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. 
Yes, please. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Awesome, so now we have a big old Krogan on our team as well. But I still like my Garrus and Tally team, so let's keep them. It's my tech team. Okay, so we have, let's look at our journal. We have collected Garrus and Rex, and now we have enough information to go back to the tower to expose Saren. So, I'm going to end this video here, and in the next video we will go expose Saren or maybe work on some side quests. Stay tuned and find out. Thanks for watching.